What's going on, tubers? Just getting myself all kind of mentally psyched up to go to Ikea and do an Ikea haul. Well, not so much a haul. Yeah, actually, it, it might be a haul because, like, who are we kidding? It's Ikea. Can't really resist the big Ikeas. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be picking up a table, bar table for myself because I have been using this. I have converted that coffee table into a table for myself because I can afford a table at the time and I was in kind of like a weird toxic situation where it just kind of like left everything that I could and just grabbed everything important with me and ran. So yes, you guys are going to come with me to Ikea and I'm going to get over my stage fright of vlogging in public. I have like this weird stage fright of doing this, but in public, whilst people can see. But I'm gonna get over that fear. I'm gonna get over that fear, hopefully today. If not today, that's fine. It's a work in progress, right? I'm not gonna be vlogging while I'm driving because that's dangerous and I don't have a partner with me to film with. So I hope it's okay that I like, I'm. A, filming at Ikea. Not filming, but like filming myself. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, yes. <laughs> Off we go. Okay. We'll see you at Ikea. A few moments later. <sighs> Y'all, it's cold right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this winter is hitting me a lot harder than last year, but we made it. Big bloom yellow. Made it. <sighs> <sighs> All right, we're in. Let's go. I wonder if I can clip this camera. Nope, I can't. Okay. I think I know what I need, but there's also stuff that I could probably grab one. I forgot my little paper thing at home, so I feel a little awkward right now because I know what I'm looking for, but I don't remember how you pronounce pronounce it. No, do I remember where it Window or aisle where it's at. Got it. Okay. Come on, it's like... <sighs> All right. We'll be back. Okay, y'all. I found the item, and we're gonna go and grab it now. It's really busy today, and I don't really like going along to busy places. Let's go get. A... But I got my Havard Rudd table, so we're gonna get one of those. Oh, big ass balls. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Focusing. We're almost there. Alright, okay, got my flat cart, and that's where we're going. Ouch. Here we go. I think a few people were kind of just like laughing at me while I'm doing it, but I get to work from home. Uh, Alright y'all, escaped Ikea when it got stupidly busy because now it's just getting dumb. So, got my stuff and things and now I'm gonna be hitting up the bank to get my cards because it's taken them like well over, well over a few weeks to mail them up to me. And I have some bills that I need to pay online. So I'm gonna go head out to the branch and just pick up a temporary card. Well, it's not gonna be a temporary card, it's gonna be a card, but it's just not gonna have my name on it. I have signed up to Steam online, y'all, and signed up Signed up on uh, Twitch stream so y'all can watch me play Welcome to Kowloon, which is a really cool, scary, scary game. So that's gonna be happening. But yes, 
heading to the bank. I'm going to get my, my uh, card so I can do online paying bills and purchase things for work that I need. But we will do a reveal, do the IKEA haul, and let you guys know what's up. Alright, cool beans. On eternity later. Hey tubers. All right, Gabe here. So, building my table. <laughs> Ikea U-Haul. U-Haul? Ikea haul, what? Okay, anyway, the Ikea haul. So, I got some sparkling apple and ling lingonberry drink. I got this stuff, pretty dope. And then I got some beef and pork meatballs. And I got their mashed potatoes. So that's the foods that I got from them. Uno momento. I'm getting really, really warm. Again, I'm gonna take my hoodie off. Excuse me. Sweater off. Okay, let's start. So this the second half of the IKEA haul. This is just my little knife, camping knife. I got a bar tool. Bar table. Bar tool. Bar table. Ikea is super, I randomly was just like walking by it. And I was just like that, that's what I'm looking for. So here we are. And I love building Ikea furniture. Mm -hmm. I also got this little knife from Winners. Am I too far? Yeah, okay, hang on. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, pretty. Is that better y'all? So I got a little update on my bank card. When they had created my account or whatever, they created it like two days after I had signed up, which like, she's like, I'm super sorry. That shouldn't have happened. I'm sorry. I'm like, it is what it is. It should be coming in the mail next week. My card. Mm. It's just telling me of a, a maximum weight restraint. Safety first. Okay. What? <clears throat> oh, hold on. oh god. Got it. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I used to be a carpenter. Love building things. Taking not really taking them apart, but restoring things. I love learning how to restore things. Like my Subaru that I'm restoring right now. Wow. There you go. Have fun, buddy. Kevin's here too, as always. Helping but not helping. He's helping rip up paper, so that's something. Thank you, thank you, my son. <clears throat> yes, I do consider him my fur child. I understand he is not a child. Don't come for me in the comments. I understand humans are different from animals. But I don't have children right now. Okay. If you have noticed the running theme with my furniture. I like a lot of like industrial wood, old wood, like ancient wood finishing type looks and stuff. I just find it simple and minimalistic, you know? I enjoy it, kind of calls to me. Also, marks a year, my girl, my other fur baby, crossed the Rainbow Bridge last year. If anybody else has had to say goodbye to a baby of theirs, a fur baby of theirs, my heart is with you. Anyway, let's keep going. All right. Step number one. Grab that toy gate looking thing and flip it upside down. All right. Do I have my tools? Got it. Do like a ribbon dance with that. We got this, that one. I really should be wearing my glasses because I can't see it right now. Where did they go? 
I gotta look for them. Hang on. Please don't hate me, body. <laughs> I'm sorry if it glares, y'all, but homeboy, you know, has weak vision. These help. Age, getting older. Alright. Long pole thing. Got it. Aha. Got it. And then... Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, the joys of living in an apartment. You can hear everybody. Well, an old apartment that was built in like the 1970s and hasn't really been updated. <clears throat> I'm so sorry if you can't see my eyes. If I look this way, you can't. So I'll try to look at you guys like this when I have my glasses on. And I understand that having contacts is probably a better idea. And I am in the works of it, okay? Give me a minute. Which one is it though? The round one? This one. This is the round one. Okay. Alright. Got it. Got it. Oh, if you're wondering what I'm watching in the background, it's uh, <laughs> Kiki's Delivery Service, but I have to kind of like blur it out for copyright purposes. Okay. And then the other side. Got it. Okay, so I am a big anime fan, clearly. I will watch them on repeat, because who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> hmm, I wonder why it's telling me not to tighten them all the way. No idea. Figure that out, I suppose. What's happening? Do you need water? There you go, sir. I know you're hungry, so I will grab the foods. Kevin was behind here chewing up a storm. And it makes him nervous whenever there's like different things scattered in the living room. As it, as it should, you know. Wait, is it this way? Wait. Oh. I think I know what it is. Okay. Not too worried. I did it. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Kids. Okay, so this one. Do you want to lay on the bed, buddy? 
Okay, go ahead. Come over here. Come. 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 Lay down. Good boy. All right. Don't worry, puppy. I got you. Oh, dear. I don't know why they don't, they tell you not to tighten it, but then like, when you go to move it, it's just all over the place. So I am going to slightly tighten it more than what they are saying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Super focused. Okay. Ow, mother of pearl, what was that? Kevin's food particle. Okie dokie. And then the triangle part and the rectangle part. <laughs> I will show y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that yeah, that's the part next. Hmm. Right now, I am thinking I should probably start taking down my current table, kitchen table. But, meh, we're here now. Keep going. Keep going, folks. Now, which side do I want? It doesn't really matter, actually. I'll just put this, put those there. That there. Okay, I don't know why it recommends two people, but here I am doing this by myself, but it's fine. Ow, my foot. Oh, also, why I keep saying ouch my foot is because I, um, I broke my foot last year. <laughs> so that's why whenever I like step on it funny i'm just like ouch 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 my own fault though really because i haven't gone to physio to fix it i know i should so shame on me okay I'll put this on now there we go there we go Okay, next it says put the screws in. Okay, alright, cool, 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 Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so it says to have them this way, flat side up. Okay. Ah, all right. Got it. I need the small ones. So, a little trick. I learned working on a job site when you have to work alone, especially when it requires like two people to do them, you don't tighten them the entire way. Alternate tightening them. That way you get like a, a more consistent pressure level. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. What the hell? Did 
Did you hear that? Okay. Anyway, that was weird. There are normal stuff in things. All right, like I said, alternate. So for this, you do one side at a time. Got it. Now it may take a little finesse, but as long as you get one side in, it's kind of gravy from them that point on. And then what you want to do is do the complete opposite to the top part though. Sorry, you can't see. <laughs> I did the screw on the top part of this one and then I did a screw on the bottom part of this part. So you alternate them and then I have two more that I'm going to put in right now. Just loose though because the other side has to go in too. And I don't want these to gonna sit steadied so Biggest child ever. Okay, but it's different, dog. It's not in my spot. Okay, here. There. More of a princess than Spud is. <laughs> Kevin, dude, lay down, man. We're not going anywhere tonight. Oh my god, brother. At least like with a child, you could re you could reason with a kid versus a dog, there's like virtually nothing going on behind their eyes. Anyway, end of rant. <laughs> So, for this side, hopefully I can get it in frame here for y'all. Hold on. Perfect. All right. Righteous, okay. That's not fair, dude. She didn't even say yes. That's not fair. He's like, I'll be by at six to pick you up. And she's like, what the f I'm busy. I can't even like say yes or no. Creepy. Turns out she actually does want to go, so. If it was a different scenario entirely, <laughs> my rant would be valid. <laughs> but it's not now. <laughs> Shut up, Gabe. Okay. Okay. Just tidying up a little bit. Because this is what Kevin did. Ah, whatever. It kept him busy while I was doing things, and now he's super tired. Wanting me to go to bed right now, but I ain't going to bed right now. I found them. Never mind. Okay. Um. Ah. Okie dokie.
Now I realize I do have a bit of an advantage here with grip strength and finger strength just because of the carpenter hands and virtually giving myself carpal tunnel <laughs> for uh, this job, for carpentry, no less, yes, carpentry. So I'm kind of used to like doing things by myself, building things by myself. But recently, I've been wanting to, you know, build some, build a life with somebody, essentially. That would be nice. But I also understand that, hey, if I don't end up meeting my lady Hanata, that's okay too. I'm pretty can I'm pretty happy with the way things are, you know. Definitely learning how to be more honest with myself and getting myself weaned off of antidepressants, getting myself weaned off of <laughs> essentially pharmaceutical grade meth. So, yeah. I feel a lot better about it. I feel a lot better. Like I feel like more like myself than I ever have. Pre-relationships and whatnot. Getting back to what I like, you know. All right, next. Next is putting the actual table on top or the flat part. And then screwing that part in. Okay, I'm not laughing because um, uh, I think the picture's funny, but I'm laughing because it's in the instruction manual. You know what though? I get it. Kids will think of be like, oh, it's a jungle gym or something to climb on. It's a ladder. I, my inner child's like, oh, this is something to climb on. And no, little Gabe, not the, not the, nope, no, no. Anyway. Okay, okay. Before I throw this on, not throw this on, I'm gonna start tightening everything now. Oh, ouch. Now for the bars here, like I said, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And then do it again because there's two sets of screws on each side. Now because these screws aren't so long and they have that blue locking glue at the end of them, I don't have to simultaneously be like, okay, screw and then screw and then screw. So what I mean for that is anybody that has worked on um, putting on a tire or worked in like the welding sector or like a uh, pipe fitting sector in like the trades and in industrial trades, um, what they do is they follow a crisscross pattern. So for example, if there's like eight screws in a circle, they'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then for the counting concept, they'll do quarter turns for every um, nut screw that they do. It's, it's tedious and <laughs> it's a lot of work, trust me. I've done it and like, yeah, it's not fun, but I get why they engineer it the way they do. See, I did that one. Okay, bottom one now. Right. 
Got it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So next is the big plank. Okay. Another carpenter trick. All the pockets. I've always carried <laughs> screws in my pockets and like I'll come home with um, <laughs> random screws and nails in my pockets. Ugh. Along with wood shavings, dirt, rocks, pebbles, sand, mud. I'm just feeling where the screws are. It's just a visual, a mental map that I make for myself personally. Okay. Let's do it up. Um, for something like this, again, crisscross, keep going. Now, just go along and tighten everything. And then the last step is these two tiny ones, which I'll have to go underneath here for. So this is the part where it's a little bit side. This is kind of the most painstaking part right here. This is because there's a rod in the way of my tightening and that took a minute. But I think that's it. I think that is it, folks. That's it, done. Well, done building it. Now for the install process. Okay. This is what, uh, I'm, well, what 
uh, we are working with. Wow, that's huge. Damn, <laughs> I'll show you all. It's so tall. <laughs> it's so tall, okay. Huh, probably gonna speed past this part because it's gonna be a little bit boring. Take very long at all. At least now I'll be able to have proper meals at a decent table. <laughs> It's actually been years since I've been able to sit down for dinner. So this is like a step forward for me. Let's move this behemoth. Just gotta get it past the cord. I think we're golden, kids. Golden children. Children that are golden. Be like my little song there. Made it up just for y'all. Which side should we have it facing? I know it has to be facing outwards because I need to sit under it. Oh crap. No, I don't like that part facing out so much, so we'll switch it. It's not that heavy, actually. It's surprisingly light. Okay, yeah, that's better. Oh yeah. Eh? Come with me and you'll see that I have a brand new table. Yeah. <sighs> All right. That was really fun, y'all. Thanks for joining me in building my bar table. All right, until next time, y'all. Signing out. Please like and subscribe if you like watching me build stuff. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, let me know if, what else you guys want to see. See what happens, okay? Be kind to one another. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!